Hello everyone, welcome to Wire Network. In this video, we will be learning how to configure an IP tunnel between two MicroTik routers. IP tunnel in MicroTik Router OS is a network technology that allows you to encapsulate IP packets within other IP packets to transport them over an intermediate network. It creates a virtual point-to-point -point connection between two routers, effectively allowing them to communicate as if they were directly connected, even if they are separated by an untested or public network like the Internet. To configure an IP tunnel between two MicroTik routers, follow these steps. First, access both the MicroTik router via Winbox. Step 1. Configure IP tunnel on both routers. Go to Interface menu, then click on the IP tunnel tab. Click the plus button to add new IP tunnel. Next, set the name of the tunnel. Next, enter your remote router IP address. After that, set the IP6 secret. Next, uncheck the Allow Fast Path, then click Apply OK. Next, navigate to Interface menu on Router B, then click on the IP Tunnel tab. Click the plus button to add new IP tunnel. Next, set the name of the tunnel. Next, enter your remote router IP address. Enter IP6 secret you set in Router A. Next, uncheck the Allow Fast Path, then click Apply OK. Step 2. Assign IP address to tunnel interface. Go to IP, then click on Addresses. Next, click on the plus button to add new address. Next, input the IP address for IP tunnel, then select your tunnel interface from the interface drop-down list. Click Apply OK. Next, assign an IP address to the tunnel interface of the remote router. Next, input the IP address for IP tunnel, then select your tunnel interface from the interface drop-down list. Step 3. Configure static route on both routers. Before adding a static route, we will verify the local network configuration of the remote site router. Next, go to IP then click Root. Click the plus button to add new route. In the DST address field, enter your remote router local network subnet.
in the gateway IP field, enter your remote router tunnel IP address. Click Apply OK. Finally, we are now able to connect to the network of the remote site. Next, configure static route on site B router so that both the router access their local network each other. Next, go to IP then click Route. Click the plus button to add new route. In the DST address field, enter your remote router local network subnet. In the gateway IP field, enter your remote router tunnel IP address. Click Apply OK. Finally, both routers can communicate with each other via IP tunnel.